Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, it is your favorite video. Today we're trying out a bunch of drugstore makeup. I have a little bit of everything. We have so much to get through, so I'm not going to make this intro long, but I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Um, I am excited and nervous today because i don't know we have a couple products that stress me out you guys know how it is sometimes certain products just kind of stress me out we are going to skip over primer because we do have a new foundation slash serum it is the brand new revlon illuminance serum tint spf 15 with ginger root and vitamin c and e i don't know if you guys remember but revlon came out with a luminance foundation which is really really pretty um i did get the shade tan sand um, we'll see how that goes. It's supposed to work to visibly reduce dark spots and even out skin tone, gives the skin an instant glow and provides all day hydration and protects against UVA and UVB. It says to build to desired coverage. I'm assuming it's gonna be like a light to medium. Um, this is the packaging, it's just like a little squeezy tube and then, and then that's just what it looks like. All right, let's give it a shot. I really hope this shade works for me. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. It's so hard for me to like, match myself during the winter because one day I'm pale, one day I'm not, one day I have a fake tan. But I will say it is, you know, like a medium consistency, a little runny, but not like super liquidy. Um, I kind of want to see what it will look like maybe with my fingers first. Look at that shade match. Okay. I will say it is a little bit peachier. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little bit peachier than I would like. I think the tone overall is pretty good, but the undertone is just um, not... Uh, like olive or warm, but because it's gonna be like a skin tint, I think we can make it work. With my finger, that actually blended out very, very quickly. Um, and it's looking like a little bit of a dewy finish. Uh, definitely dewy, but not overly done. Let me finish out this side of the face so we can compare. It's definitely giving like a light medium coverage. Okay, wait, let me zoom you guys in because this looks pretty good. Can you even tell which side I have the skin tint on? looks really nice. It kind of looks like nothing, but whenever you look on this side, you can kind of see a little bit more discoloration. Obviously, you don't have a lot to cover, but I do think it definitely perfected my skin. Let's go ahead and do the other side together while I'm zoomed in so we can see this magic happening because right now it looks really pretty. I'm trying not to get too excited right now. I'm trying to take it slow, but I will say uh, right now if it's feeling really nice and pretty lightweight. And again, a nice glowy finish, but nothing too, too, like, greasy looking. Okay, so that is what that looks like. So far, I think it looks stunning. Definitely more of a light coverage rather than a light medium. But it really, like, perfected, evened out my skin tone. A nice, healthy, naturally dewy finish. Um... So far, I think it's really, really pretty. Definitely very, very natural and luminous. If it wears well, especially with other makeup and of course throughout the day, um, this is really nice because it honestly feels like I have nothing on my skin. Again, I do have the shade Tan Sand 317. It's definitely more cooler undertone than my neck, but because it's so sheer, I think you can make it work. So for twin shades, I think you can definitely make this work. So let's go ahead and see how other makeup goes on top. I'm gonna quickly do cream bronzer and concealer off camera and I'll be right back and we will try the pairing blush alrighty guys uh, sorry that I did that off camera it's just because these videos get really long but I do have the ABH cream bronzer as well as the Koki concealer and right now everything is looking really good to be honest I wasn't nervous about this skin tint as much I'm very nervous about the blush because it just looks like the type of blush that's just gonna give me a hard time but we'll see i don't want to judge i don't want to judge but i will say everything right now is blending really nicely together and see how once i put bronzer or concealer that skin tint undertone like just it's fine it like it's like a chameleon you know it just kind of does what i tell it to do and it did what i told it to do so moving on let's look at this blush um let me get some today's flavor of olipop is cream soda Oh my god okay so again same line and by the way i did buy these on amazon actually so it's the revlon illuminance gel serum blush that's why that freaks me out 
It says Superfood Complex with Glycerin. I got the shade 120 Striking Rose, which looks really dark, but I did that on purpose because these gel formulas usually are very sheer, so I wanted something that like hopefully shows up. A gel serum texture with a dewy finish all day hydration. Place one to two dots onto cheeks and blend it in. Oh wow, this looks like frosting. I just want to eat it so bad. It kind of looks like a sugar cookie frosting. By the way, speaking of sugar cookie, uh, I think the next video you see will probably have Christmas decorations in the back. I think it's time, you guys. If it, was, if it was up to me, I would have already done it like two weeks ago. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it's actually looking very pigmented, so I think it's going to go well. And let's see, let's just... I have no idea what to do. I'm just going to tap it out and see how pigmented it is. This shade is very, very pretty, though. Oh, okay, so we do have more of a medium pigmentation, not super pigmented, but not sheer. So I appreciate it. I hate when there's like something dewy and sheer because then it's like you have to build it up and you just get so much dew on your face. Um, that's actually really, really pretty and blended out very quickly and it's giving a dewy finish. So let's go ahead and do the other side. Um, we are going to set with powder today, uh, so I don't know, it might go away. It, it's not as crazy dewy as I thought it was, which is a good thing. And it's also more pigmented than I thought it was, which is a good thing. So I'm eating my words right now. Let's put a little bit on the nose because I'm still doing that. I don't know if you guys are, but I am. So far, no complaints. Blending nicely. Dewy. Not too dewy. Um, looks really pretty. You know what I've noticed? Every time that I talk bad about a product without trying it, it usually ends up working out. So maybe I'll just keep doing that. Um, yeah, right now it looks really pretty. We'll see how it sets with powder, but I will say just for like a dewy blush, I think it's really, really cute. So to set it, I'm actually, I, let me show you guys my box. Marilyn Monroe. I have the whole Wet n Wild collection. We're not going to go through everything because I do have other products that I also want to try, but we are going to be using the setting powder, which this I also am nervous about and hope, hopefully it works out. It's the Marilyn Monroe X Wet n Wild Luminous Setting Powder. Ah, it is translucent, but it's luminous. So that's what I'm worried about it. So we might look super luminous today. I almost didn't use this just because we are trying a new skin tint today. But, uh, you know, let's just give it a shot. And if not, I'll just keep trying the skin tint in a different video as well. Let me get some tweezers up in here. Come on. I need other tweezers. I stole these from Wyatt. These are really nice. Okay, here we go. Thank you, Wyatt. All right. Oh, there's another one. Oh my God, you got, wait, am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy. I just peeled off this thing and there's another one. Peel here. Why is there another one? Why was there two? All right, we got it, we got it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some on the cap. Oof, see how it looks just like a little dark for a translucent? I'm gonna quickly blend out the concealer obviously we're crease central right now for letting it sit there i usually prefer to use like a pressed powder for under the eyes but i'm just going to tap off a lot of the excess and start tapping away oh i already know i'm not gonna like it and why is it burning my eye let me tell you something about these luminous powders in theory sounds like a good idea but if you have I don't know it's weird because I'm like in the middle age I'm not like super young but I'm not like older and I understand that like if you're older this might actually suit you better and if you're younger you have perfect skin so like everything suits you but I'm like in the middle and my under eyes are getting a little crepey and so to me oh to me a luminous powder just really really highlights like crepiness and so like to be honest, I would use this powder as a highlighter. I'm not saying the powder kind of sucks, it's just not my vibe at all, but it kind of sucks that the whole makeup look is like super luminous right now. I'm gonna see if I can save it. Maybe if I use my Kosas powder and like do it under or on top. I'm gonna like powder my face with this real quick and I'll be right back and see if we can like save this train wreck because I know you don't see it, 
but it looks like I have like gold glitter all over my face, which I'm not happy about. We look a little bit better, but still, it's just very highlighty. But I will say, so number one, I don't love the powder. I actually think this would be a very beautiful highlight. Uh, if you like luminous powders, you might like this. I just don't think I'm the target audience. But I will say, I am liking that skin tint and that blush. Uh, it's setting really nicely. I don't feel it. It doesn't feel like heavy or dry or tight. I don't even feel it and I think my skin looks really nice. Aside from the glow that I don't like, I do think that the base looks really pretty so I'm gonna like look past it. Uh, sorry, Marilyn Monroe. Um, it's just not my vibe, but maybe I'll try it as a loose highlighter. That's usually what I do anytime I get these like luminous powders in the mail. By the way, you guys, I have been getting like rashes. Um, the only reason why I'm telling you is because it's starting to flare up on my hands right now. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but if you do see like red bumps on my hand, um, I don't know what it is. I'm scared. I don't know what it is. I don't want to think about it. But anyways, moving on. I'm just going to put a little bit of lip oil on because we do have a lot of lip products going on. And I figured why not use this one right now. This is the brand new lip oil from e.l.f. It's called the Revive, the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I do have swatches of all of them on my Instagram and TikTok. I did kind of mention this in my second to last video, but um, this is a new product and I feel like I haven't given it its moment. This is my favorite shade currently, which is the shade Rose Envy. It is a fat dofa applicator. They're glossy. Some of them are sheer and some of them have just like a, a medium to light pigmentation. Like, like this one's kind of sheer. They also have a clear one. Uh, but this one's my favorite because it just adds like the perfect amount of rosiness. It, they're not plumping, but they do smell and taste a little bit minty. And they feel really, really nice. I really like them. They're super inexpensive and... If you haven't gotten your hands on it, you should. So next we have a blush from the Marilyn Monroe collection. So I'm gonna apply some bronzer really quickly. I've been obsessed with the one size bronzer. Obviously it's not drugstore, so I'll just speed through this, but let's go on to the Marilyn Monroe blush. I have to give it to that little serum gel blush because it is still here. And usually these little serum blushes kind of go away with powder but this one's still here so i just want to give it its props so uh for the blush we also have a luminous blush <laughs> um but she might be pretty she looks pretty again wet and wild marilyn monroe blush in the shade rose and it looks like it is um shimmery as you guys can see let me give it a swatch okay yeah i mean it looks like a really pretty shade it's just very shimmery so <laughs> We love that for me. Um, I'm gonna grab a little brush like this and let's just apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Oh my gosh, there is so much glow. I, you guys know how I am. I just don't like too much glow and I don't like it chunky. This blush has more of like a silver reflex, which not my favorite. It's looking a little ashy on me. Even when you look at it, it kind of looks silvery um so unless you have like very fair skin and cool undertones i don't think that this might suit you i mean there are no rules to make up but um i look like a disco ball right now so yeah okay marilyn marilyn she does not want any of us to look as pretty as her i i'm gonna be honest with you guys i did have a highlighter i have two of them i don't want to put any more highlight on my face um, maybe we can try one of them for like inner corner highlight and the nose highlight, but I can't keep adding on to this. So, um, we're going to move on to the eyes. Let's just move on to the eyes. I have quite a few things for the eyes. So I do have, um, the eyeshadow palette. I also have a cover girl, um, liquid shadow, and I also have a brand new mascara that a lot of you guys asked for. So we're just going to do it all. We're going to do all of the shades. This is the Marilyn Monroe one. It actually has a really nice packaging. It kind of gives like elf uh, bite size. This is the shade range. It's definitely a nice neutral shade range, which, uh, you know, very usable. All right, so big fluffy brush. We're going to go into this taupey shade. Keep in mind, this is not a tutorial. I just kind of want to see what the formula is like. I'm excited that they came out with, oh, that's actually pigmented. I'm excited that they came out with something smaller. Usually these Wet n Wild collections come out with huge 
palettes and I've noticed that they're kind of starting to size down and I love that. That shade is stunning. Oh my gosh, this is such like a good little uh, one and done shade. That's really, really pretty. It did not look like it would be that deep, but it actually has pigment and it's blending very easily. Okay, Marilyn. Okay, Marilyn. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking to Marilyn, sorry. Okay, let's try this shade out, which now I'm guessing it's gonna be very pigmented as well. So I'm gonna go in with a light hand and put it in the outer corner. Very pigmented, okay. All right, so we know she has pigment and we know she blends. Okay, wow, I know I've only used two brown shades, but I will say it's like blending itself out and it's pigmented. So this video is getting redeemed, uh, love that. This is like, like a slightly shimmery shade. There's definitely not like too much to the shade range. I mean, obviously it's very muted and there's not that much like contrast, but I will say for like an everyday palette, this is actually really, really pretty. And the formula is that Wet n Wild formula that may be a little powdery, but because it's so buttery and I really like it. So right now I'm definitely a fan. Um, I kind of want to leave it at that so we can uh, look at the other eyeshadow. But let me just really quickly do the bottom lash line. I'm just going to grab those two brown shades and just put it all over the lower lash line. Love that. I don't know what to do, you guys, because I don't know what you would... I think you would care more about this than the shimmer on this. Let me just like swatch both shimmers so you guys can see them. One of them is like more metallic, like this one, and then this one's more of like a true shimmer. This is what they look like. Um, really cute, very shiny, uh, but I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna look at this one because this is its own product. I think this is actually really pretty and uh, again, buildable, buttery, blendable, pigmented cute. So I've been very excited about this. I've been holding it off for uh, like two weeks. Uh, this is new from CoverGirl and it's a collaboration with Kelsey Ballerini, which she's like a country singer. So this is called the Exhibitionist Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow. I got the shade Sparkly Boots. This is a limited edition because it's a collaboration. High shimmer, super saturated metallic shades and a liquid glitter shadow. Glides on effortlessly, wears all day. By the way, packaging is 10 out of 10. Um, let's go ahead and swatch this first. It's definitely more metallic than shimmery, but very, very pretty. That's a really pretty shade. And it's very thin and liquidy. I did not expect that. The fact that I have a rash right now and I'm swatching these things on the rash, I'm sorry. Like, why am I doing this to you and to myself? I don't know what else to do. Let me just take it off because it itches. Okay, we're good. That's just rash. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. I, I feel like people shouldn't talk about their rash, right? <laughs> I think maybe we could apply with the wand, but because it's so liquidy, I kind of want to tap it out with my finger, like blend it out. I don't know how thick or thin it should be. Very natural, actually. I kind of, I don't know. I want to put more. I want to see it. I don't know if maybe we just added too many colors that look similar to this. Um... It's actually very pretty. I don't know what you guys expected. I expected something more ultra glitter, but if I didn't have that expectation, I actually think this looks really, really pretty. I feel like on camera, it looks more glittery, but in person, it looks like a taupey shadow with like blue and purple glitter on top. It's pretty. If I'm being honest, it kind of looks like I just have like sparse glitter on, which I don't hate that. So, um, I do like it. I'm gonna let it dry while we do the rest of the face. I think it's easy to apply. It's lightweight, it's liquidy. It's not super high shine, but it does look like sparse, ultra fine glitter, and it doesn't feel heavy or crusty on the eyes. So we will see once it does uh, dry. Let me sit up. I'm like, let me tell you about this eyeshadow. Like, let me sit up, get my posture right. Why don't we do a little bit of eyeliner first? So this is the Wet n Wild Marilyn Monroe Eyeliner. It is brown, and let's see. Oh, it's like a gel liner. So let's see if we can glide it on to the lash line just to give it a little bit more darkness. Okay, that was really nice. Let me swatch it. Okay, this is really pretty. It's like a chocolate brown, which I actually, I can appreciate a chocolate brown. I'm going to tight line up top uh, because usually the Wet n Wild gel liners like don't transfer on me. That is really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, Marilyn. Marilyn is doing her thing now. 
let you guys know by the end of the video if it uh, transferred down. But as an eyeliner, I think it's really pretty. I actually am liking this look. Let's move on to the mascara. A lot of you guys were asking me about this mascara, and so I bought it. Panorama Mascara from L'Oreal. Corner to corner panoramic volume. Bigger eye look, multi-level bristles. Okay, I got the shade Black is Black. I'm sorry, this is giving like holiday luxury. I love it. It's not, it's not heavy or anything, but I do really like this component. This is my type of wand. I love a spiky silicone wand that looks like this. So hopefully the formula is there. Let me curl my lashes and we can test this out. I'm very excited about this. It looks like a very uh, wet formula. So we'll see how that builds up. So let's go ahead and start doing this again. Just feels very wet. Hopefully it gives me volume. Definitely separating and lengthening right away. Again, for the fifth time. Very, very liquidy, watery consistency. I really hope it builds. Okay, so that's one coat. I do think it looks very pretty. It looks very natural. I do think it looks really pretty. I do also think that the on the screen, it looks a little bit more dramatic than in person. In person, it doesn't look like I'm wearing this much mascara. I don't know what it is, but uh, so far, I do think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll do the second coat together. So far, so far it's cute. Go ahead and really just work it in there. Shimmy it in there. Definitely added more volume on the second coat, but because it's so wet, whoo, spider central. Um, because it's so wet, it's like, it's just not building. It's more just like connecting, connecting the dots, connecting the eyelashes. Oh. Look how much prettier it looks with one coat. Very natural, not dramatic though. And then this, sure, it gave us drama, but it's also giving Spider Central. I don't know if that counts as cheating, but this is not cute. A little disappointing. I think that if you already have like a really, really nice set of lashes with like a lot of volume, you might like this for like the length and separation and definition, but if you need volume, I don't know if this is the one for you. Sometimes these mascaras with like super wet formulas just need a couple times, a couple days to like dry out a little bit. So I will try this mascara again. I just think right now the formula is just too wet. The wand itself is really nice. I give this a five out of 10. My mom is calling me. Hello. Good, I'm filming, but I can call you back in like 15 minutes when I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Okay. Yeah, uh, this mascara is just not it. I think, unless you like this look, I mean, I understand some people do like this look. Sometimes I look like spidery, and that's fine. I just, um, this is just not, not it. I, you guys know I can get my lashes to look pretty nice if I say so myself. This is just a little bit chunky, a little bit too wet. We'll definitely see if we can dry it out a little bit and see if it gets better. I can update you guys on that, but as of right now, first impressions, five, five and a half out of 10. This is the Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Cool Champagne. They do have a pinkier one uh, that is kind of like a rose gold. If this is anything like the Wet n Wild highlighters that we all know and love, you know it's gonna be amazing. Oh my gosh, that is frosty. This is uh, really pretty. It's very bright and white. It is really pretty. I'm gonna do just a little bit on my nose like that. Wow. So we do have like a Marilyn Monroe lip liner, but let's be honest, I think you guys prefer the e.l.f. ones. It's just something more exciting. So these are the brand new e.l.f. lip liners. There's a bunch of nudes and then a brown, a red, and a plum. Again, I do have lip swatches of all of these and hand swatches on my Instagram and TikTok. Just go follow me there. It's free. It's free. My favorite shade is called Bad is Beige. Let me give you the lowdown on these lip liners. They're very pigmented. They're very creamy. They say that they're a matte finish. They're not. They're satin. Um, they're only $2. In this economy? Again, very creamy and very pigmented. There's just a little bit of a downside to it, but I do think it kind of works because of the price and the shades. It literally can be its own lipstick because it is so creamy and pigmented but also they do claim to be like a matte finish or i think like a semi-matte 
clearly not. This looks like a satin lipstick. Downfall is that they're just not as long wearing as another lip pencil that dries down. This is so creamy and so satin that uh, it just is not gonna last that long on your lips. But again, I definitely think it makes up for the fact that they have amazing shades. They have a great formula and they're two dollars. So uh, this is definitely something that I don't mind reapplying because it's only two dollars. I don't mind buying ten of them. You know what I mean? I did go ahead and purchase this. So this is brand new from Maybelline. So if you guys remember, they've had these iconic lifter glosses forever. Well, they just came out with a plumping version. Um, it's called the Lifter Plump. Get the shade 5 Peach Fever. Peach Fever. So peach shade. So let's go ahead and apply it. This is my first time trying this. I heard that they kind of hurt a little bit too. Um, first of all, stunning shade, stunning lip combo. This is just everything right now. <sighs> Ooh, it's starting to burn. It's starting to burn. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for like a minute and I'll be right back and I'll let you guys know if it just hurts or if it works. I love the way this looks. I will say the lip gloss is not as painful as I thought. It just started like tingling and I got scared. It's really not bad at all. I mean, it definitely tingles. If you don't like lip plumpers, you're not gonna like this, but it's not horrible. I am in love with this lip combo, but I feel like to really test out to see if something is plumping, you just have to like take it off and look at your lips. It definitely plumped a little. Again, not the most plumping lip gloss, but I will say it did plump. A little do I think it's like the best like lip plumper no but I do think it's beautiful I'm gonna show it to you guys on bare lips so that you guys can actually see what the shade looks like so there you have it that is the shade by itself like again I think it's really pretty the formula is really nice it's very shiny it's a pretty plumping gloss it's not overly plumping but it definitely does a little something this is the end of the video I hope that you guys enjoyed it I am going to come back in another video and re put on this or just at least update you guys because I think it's really pretty. I just feel like I have glitter everywhere and so I can't really see the skin tint in all its glory, but I will say it does look really pretty. It feels very lightweight and I really, really like it so far. So overall, I'm happy with the video. I think it's cute. So I hope that this video was helpful. I will link everything down below, of course. Hopefully the next time you see me, there will be Christmas. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!